tell us about what you're doing. It's a Avon Avon car, is it? Yeah, it's a, a Tiger Tiger kit cars. They used to make a model yeah. called an Avon. They did one of about yeah, four, yeah. but the Avon was one that used their own independent double wishbone front and rear suspension rather than trying to keep this, this Sierra stuff, which was all very heavy and a little bit of a limitation. So as handling and chassis go, the Avon is one of the better ones. Um, this one came about, I think you saw the, little, the blurb I sent you, this one came about purely by chance it just appeared on marketplace and it was too good to pass up with the amount of bits that were involved in it and when i got it back here and started looking at it i thought this is a project we need to be recording because there's so much going on here that we can pass on information we can help other people we maybe inspire a few people um and it will get the car built fairly quickly Exactly. What, what, what we found as well, what, you know, when we do streams with other people, it kind of like we, we, we're doing one with Thomas Silwell. He's got an MK kit and he's out in the States, but it kind of like spurs him on. You know, some people can get a little bit not not disheartened, but they think, ah, I'll leave it till next week. But it kind of like spurs yeah. people on to even if you go in and just yeah. do five or 10 minutes or 15 minutes, you, you know what I mean? At least you feel like you're getting somewhere. So, yeah, happy, happy to do that. Um, I've got three or four other fairly big projects on the way, so I need something to keep me focused to make me say, right, if I can do a, an update every couple of weeks and say, right, that's this week's little bit, then it'll it'll move it forward, get it to conclusion and get it out there and start enjoying the thing. But the, the, it's all a bit vague at the moment. I was hoping to find more information because I'm trying to research the history of this kit as well. I, I think it's been through two or three pairs of hands before I got it. Somebody who bought it from the factory did an awful lot of work on it to start with, assembled most of the yeah. suspension. I've got a name for the customer who ordered it from the factory written on a bit of masking tape on a couple of fiberglass panels. But other, other than that, I've got no history at all. I don't know when it was built. I think it's been through two or three pairs of hands before I got it. Somebody who bought it from the factory did an awful lot of work on it to start with, assembled most of the suspension. Um, it quite nicely as well, actually. They haven't skimmed um and he got to the point where he had a rolling chassis and then i think for health reasons he stopped um and i think it's had two two more in between owners and the one i bought it from he had serious health issues that's why he stopped as well so it's now to the stage where when i picked it up it was effectively a brand new body kit on a rolling chassis um that had been sitting around for about eight or nine months outside so it wasn't in bad condition, but I, I don't trust, this is going to sound awful, I don't trust anybody else's work. Um, if I'm going to drive it hard, I want to know that, I want to know I've put it together. 